at the Navajo National Monument. Visitor Center closed at five, but they leave a few of the trails open um, so you can hike afterwards. Glad I waited till it cooled off a little. It's really nice out right now. Thank you. 
on occasion you get a glimpse down into the canyon you have an idea what's coming up and now it's time to see it for real it's about to reveal itself get near the end of the trail Unfortunately, the ranger-led hikes down to the dwellings aren't being done anymore because of COVID. So one day I definitely would like to come back. They say 90% of the dwellings are original, pretty well preserved because of the large alcove. All right, time to hike to the next trail. That alcove was pretty cool. There's another one that's similar, but much bigger as far as number of dwellings goes. Um, it's a 17 mile round trip hike and you can camp. You can hike in, camp overnight, get a ranger led tour the next day. But unfortunately that's closed because of COVID. So maybe in a future trip, that's well worth doing. All right, this next trail drops a couple hundred feet in elevation below the the rim into the forest, aspens and pinyon pines. <laughs> It's just beautiful. quite the variety in such a small place. Aspen Trail. So I'm on my way back up where they say down is optional, up is mandatory. So I have one more hike I want to do. We'll do that next.
right back at our starting point but we went right to go to the sandal trail and we gone left canyon view trail so we'll do that next hiking into the sun it's pretty through here oh distance awesome like the historic contact station is into the trail um, there were definitely some views along the trail so I'm gonna go back and get a couple pictures as the sun sets It was an enjoyable short walk. Um, unfortunately, probably the best parts of this park are currently unavailable due to COVID. And that would be the five mile ranger led tour down to the Pueblon ruins. That's in the alcove we saw earlier. And then the 17 mile round trip that was for the largest of the cliff dwellings in this area. You know, as far as number of dwellings goes. But again, that was closed. Apparently they leave a ranger down, out there. Um, so once you get there, you get a ranger led tour. So that would have been really interesting. So worth revisiting at some point in the future. Other than that, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm staying in the adjacent campground, which is free. Um, there's two campgrounds, only one's open, but it's free. Should be good. Ciao.